Hello everyone, Namaste. Today we are going to discuss an exciting adventure, the Everest Base Camp Trek. I will be sharing some information about the most asked question for the Everest Base Camp Trek. Difficulty level, food and accommodation, packing ideas, as well as tips on dealing with altitude sickness. Let's start with the trekking plan and difficulty level for the Everest Base Camp Trek. This 12 day trek is considered to be a moderately challenging, requiring a good level of fitness. It involves walking on rocky terrain, crossing suspension bridges, and ascending to high altitudes. It's essential to prepare yourself physically and mentally for this incredible journey. Highly recommended to have minimum of two acclimatization day on the way to every space camp. The standard plan will be 8 days hike to Everest Base Camp, including 2 acclimatization day, and 3 days down to Lukla, but making 4 days down to Lukla makes it easier. It all depends on your fitness and your time for the trek. When it comes to food and accommodation, the Everest Base Camp trek offer various options along the route. While tea houses are available in most villages, it's important to note that the facilities become more basic as you ascend higher. Tea house provides simple rooms with cozy bed and shared bathroom. The tea house also have dining areas where you can enjoy warm meals, replenishing your energy after a long day of trekking. As for food, you can find a variety of meals on the trek, ranging from local dishes to international cuisine. Traditional Nepalese dal bhat, a combination of lentil soup, rice, and seasonal vegetables is a popular choice among the trekkers, due to its high nutritional value. Additionally, you can enjoy noodles, pizza, pasta, soups, and even sweet treats like apple pie along the way. However, it is always advisable to maintain a balanced and hygienic diet during the trek to stay healthy. Now, let's talk about the altitude sickness a common concern for the triggers in the Everest region. Altitude sickness occurs when your body isn't able to adjust to the decreased oxygen levels at higher altitude. It's important to acclimatize properly by gradually ascending and taking regular rest days along the way. Drinking plenty of water, eating nourishing meals, and avoiding alcohol and caffeine can also help minimize the risk of altitude sickness. In case you do experience symptoms of such as headache, dizziness, nausea, or softness of breath, it is crucial to take them seriously and descend to low altitude. Carrying essential medications such as Diamox with you is a good precaution. Before the trek, consulting with a doctor and undergoing physical examination is highly recommended, especially for the individuals with any pre exciting medical condition. Remember, the Everest Base Camp Trek is adventure of lifetime, but it requires preparation and caution. Stay physically fit, enjoy the nursing food, and choose suitable accommodation options along the route. Most importantly, listen to your body and take necessary precautions to prevent altitude sickness. For the Everest Base Camp Trek, essential gear includes moisture wicking base layers, puffer jacket, waterproof outer layers, and secure trekking boots for the varied terrain. A 40 to 50 liter day pack is ideal, along with four season sleeping bag and trekking pole for stability. Sun protection, sunglasses, and the first aid kit are crucial, and a hydration system helps combat altitude effects. Don't forget to headlamp, camera, and navigation tools. Toiletries, a multi purpose knife, and snacks are handy, and cans for a small process. Prioritize quality gear to navigate the challenging condition and ensure the safe and enjoyable trek. That's all for today's video. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Until next time, have a great trek and enjoy the breathtaking views of Everest Base Camp.